hello, Tatum here. Thanks for joining me for this 35 minute burn fat faster workout. This is a quick dumbbell strength workout combined with high intensity Tabata segments to help you add muscle, burn more calories and lose fat. If you're just getting started, you can stop after any Tabata and come back to the next segment later today or tomorrow. Small consistent changes are important. Do what you can and not what you can't. Now let's get to it. All right, hello, hello, my name is Tatum. Thank you for joining me today. Today I have a 35 minute burn fat faster workout. We're gonna have some strength in here with dumbbells, which I have 20s and a set of 10s. If you have a variety at home, bring them out. You'll want a little bit later for the sit up. That's all I'm using my 10 for. The rest of this will be chest press, lunges, squats, so think a little bit heavier for those, okay? All right, and then what else do I wanna say about this? This is a repeat of Candy Crusher day number nine. We'll talk about that later and how I change this workout up. All right, so let's go ahead with those arm circles, reverse it here, and then we'll head forward. All right, I am so excited for this workout. I'm pumped. Um, ready to work the weights, work the strength. We will have 50 second intervals. Let's go forward here with 10 seconds rest. Not a lot of transition time, so, you know, keep your weights nearby. We're gonna go right into these. There, there's only like five different exercises. I have changed some of the Tabata ones, uh, but other than that, nothing real crazy to do or me, you know, where I have to demonstrate too much, okay? We'll talk about it as we work. Let's come down to the floor on our stomach. Arms open wide like airplane wings. Let's go into Scorpion here. Just bringing this foot behind for a little kickstand. Rocking back and forth, nice and gentle and smooth. Not too fast, not too hard, and not too far, okay? We're just getting started. I just wanna warm up the chest and the shoulder a little bit here. There you go, foot behind. You got it, one more here. Okay, we're gonna do another rotation here through the hips and the shoulders. I want you to keep the toes in place this time. On that scorpion, we tap the foot behind. This time I want you to glue them to the floor, bring your arms up like a V for victory here. And we're just gonna swing our hips open as we open our arms, but don't let the arms fall out of their V shape, okay? Keep that V, keep the toes stuck. See how much you can rotate here through the uh, core, the hips here, and opening up uh, through the upper body too. Feel that stretch across the chest into the shoulder a bit. Now back to the center, open up to the other side again, keeping that V in the, those arms, opening the hips as wide as you can so that maybe we can twist even more and get that arm down, which mine's not gonna go. All right, one more each side, just so we can feel the difference as we work through this. Maybe it's a little easier. Maybe we open a little wider, we twist a little bit more. There you go, back to the center. Other side, last one here, we'll come up. Oh, see, I'm already doing a little bit better on this side. Oh, that feels good. All right, let's pop it up here. Clock is ticking, let's go leg swings forward and back for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, other side, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, I'm holding on today. Have you noticed five, <laughs> four, three, I'm a little worried about my balance, two, and one, nice work. All right, let's go down. We're gonna touch those toes, bring that bottom down towards the floor, then up towards your ceiling, back down to the floor, and I want those arms out in front to stand. Nice work, same thing, touch those toes, keep those fingers on the toes. That, that may mean that we don't go up very far, because of our tight hamstrings, that's okay. We're trying to loosen them up. So stay down there, see if you can get further each time to stay in. There we go. Back down, bottoms down, bottoms up, bottoms down. Let's do it one more time. Bottoms up, woo, bottoms down, arms out in front to stand. Oh, nice work, last one. Down, up, down, up. Ooh, get that last stretch. Bottoms down, arms out in front to stand. All right, great job. Let's just slide into our lateral lunge for a few seconds here. Just kind of loosening up the inner thighs, the adductors here as we bend and lower. Just take it easy on this, don't go too far. If you're already there and you wanna go into a Cossack squat, you can go onto that heel, come down a little further. You can even almost come down to the ground. Just be careful as we go deeper and deeper. Make sure you're ready for it, okay? Good, we're gonna do a couple more here and we're gonna get ourselves ready to go. 
Nice work. All right, great job. We're gonna get started. We need our weights nearby because we're just gonna keep using them off and on. There's not a lot of movement around. Uh, so just keep a set nearby. I have a 10, again, and 20. So keep your water close. There will be just 10 seconds of transition between these exercises. Let's grab your dumbbells. Feel free to take this body weight. It's a reverse lunge. Here we go, two dumbbells, reverse lunge. I want a little hinge at the hips, not a whole lot. I don't want you to collapse this way. But I do want a little hinge, a little reach, just feeling the glute hamstring kick in here as we reverse. Because we're gonna do goblets or dumbbell squats later. And that's gonna give us a good quad, quad engagement. So let's just kind of tune into the, the hamstrings and the glutes here, okay? Good work. 20 seconds of work left. We have 50 second intervals. I'm not sure I mentioned that. I'm sorry, I apologize if I did. With 10 second transitions. That'll give us a minute. In my Candy Crusher workout, we had Tabatas here. And we moved a little quicker without, it was all body weight, no equipment, okay? So we're moving about a minute here each. All right, chest press, we're going to the floor for 50 seconds, 10 seconds of transition. Here we go. We're gonna go wide, palms in. Three, two, and one. Palms in, nice wide push here, okay? Press, come back down. Keep those elbows under the wrist so you have good stability there and support and bring it back down. Control it. We have 50 seconds. Just control this movement, play it safe but push yourself, make sure the weight is challenging to you. Here we go. If it's not, you might come in with the palms in and the elbows close. That'll give you more challenge because the triceps will be called on a bit more. Here we go, nice and wide, press it out. Squeeze in, great work. We are going to be repeating about five different exercises over and over today. Each time we hit the fourth exercise in that rotation, we are going to um, do our Tabata, three, two and one nice work going into squats i'm going to use both my weights because i need a little extra weight for a challenge if you have weight and you want to do a single that's challenging enough you're going to hold it here three two and one here we go squat it out now in this kind of squat with two dumbbells by the side you're going to have to keep your feet a little bit closer together sometimes i suggest going a little bit wider with a slight flare out of the toes to clear the hips and get a little deeper. You might find that you don't go as deep here. That's okay. It kind of pushes into the quads. It gives you a little more quad dominant squat. You may not be as deep. It may not call on your glutes and hamstrings as much. Not going as deep. That's okay. We have that in the reverse lunge. Use your weight, get a challenge here. Do what you can. If it feels uneasy sitting back in this stance because you're not wide, you don't have a wide base, Find a chair, put it behind you, sit back on the chair. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, first Tabata coming up because this is our fourth exercise that we're doing here, right? We're gonna do crunches. Three, two, and one. Here we go, just pull up and over between the legs here. Little crunch. I want you to make sure that you're going far enough on that crunch to get to the bottom of that shoulder blade or even maybe a little higher. We may not go all the way up onto our tailbone, but at least a little higher. Called a full crunch. Okay, rest. 10 seconds is all we have. We're going into three more of these. Three, two, and one. Four 20 tens equal two minutes of work here, but with little rest built in. Kind of nice, right? Uh, look at my description, read my notes. Check it out if you want to learn more about what I'm doing here. Otherwise, just follow along. That's the beauty of it. Three, two, and one rest. I know, it's what my clients want. That's what people pay me for, right? I just want to follow along. I don't care to understand. If I did, I would do what you do. Here we go. Three, two, and one exercise for. I know some of us though are trainers or people who have been working out for a long time. We like to educate ourselves and learn more because we love it. Great, check it out, read it. Five seconds, three, two, and one. All right, rest. One more here, blow that air out. Draw the belly button towards the floor. So we have a nice firm back here against the floor. Three, two, and one, here we go. We wanna engage. We could go through the motion here. I could swing my arms 
and not really crunch with the abs. So make sure you're engaging here that you feel it. Good. Five seconds here. Three, two, and one. Ooh, nice work. All right, we have 30 seconds, almost 40 here, of uh, rest built in before we move on. So grab a sip of water for me. All right, so I told you I had five exercises. We just hit our fourth, so we did our Tabata. Our fifth one is a burpee walkout, low intensity, okay? In my other video, which I'd like for you to look at, if you're wanting a high intensity anaerobic workout, go look at it. Very similar to this, just body weight, quicker turnover, okay? Here we're gonna go down, walk it out with both feet into a high plank, walk it back in, stand up, I want you to reach to the sky. Here we go, 50 seconds of work. Out, out, in, in, and reach. Now remember, you can also do these from an incline, from a bench, a couch, or a chair. If it's too much to get down this low, walk it out. And I also walk wide here, okay? Instead of bringing my feet here and in the center, where I'm gonna round my back to get up and not get down as deep in a good squat form. I like to go wide so I can kind of sit back and get into that squat, okay? Good job. And I'm gonna alternate which foot kind of leads. So I'm not reaching, reach to the ceiling. Reach high, reach high, come on. Woo, there you go. But I'm alternating my feet because I'm naturally I'm gonna go to my more dominant side. My more, my dominant side is gonna lead me all the time and I wanna get used to making that left side call the shot. Woo, time, nice work. All right, so that was five exercises. That's our circuit. We're headed back to our reverse lunge. Three, two, and one. Feel free to add dumbbells or just go body weight if you're just getting started, okay? You wanna be able to build up some strength in those knees, those tendons in the knees, which takes longer, all right? Longer than we like sometimes. So it takes a little while for us to get sturdy, build up core strength, hip strength. So maybe body weight is better and trying to get full range, balance, control, depth. All right, it's all good. We're cheering you on. We didn't all get here overnight. Some of us have been working at it for years. <laughs> okay, it takes time. It takes baby steps. This four week challenge, three, two and one. It doesn't even happen in four weeks, a month. So you know, it doesn't happen sometimes in half a year. It takes time. It's all good. Oh, let's see, chest press. Don't put your weights down. <laughs> here we go, to the floor quickly. Palms in, wide chest press here. Good, our fourth exercise is coming up again. It's not really our fourth, it's our, it's every fourth one. So we're doing that rotation, right? So we had what, the crunches? Oh, here we go. This one is going to be our squats, which are up next. You'll see it in my notes. If it doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. Just follow my lead. I'll get you through the workout. That's what I'm here for. Here we go, wide, elbows under wrist, wrist over elbows, squeeze and push in. There you go. Up and in, hoo -ah. Good, nice work. Feels good to push a little bit today. Get these weights on the muscles and the bones. All right, rest. Always feels good to me. People think I'm crazy. It sounds, it feels like a, a massage to me. <laughs> All right, so this is supposed to be our squats, okay? Instead of jumping, we're just gonna go up onto those toes, okay? So shoot up onto the toes with the squat. Body weight is only 20 seconds, so I don't want any weight. I want you moving fast and quick. Now, if you showed up for this and you just love the plyometrics and jumping, go ahead and do a jump squat. Rest, okay. 10 seconds, three more to go. If you notice your knees caving in and doing this, as we squat, slow down a little bit. Try to control it. Here we go. Up, down, onto those toes. Good, without the squat, or without the jump. I told you it was low impact. <sighs> Woo, there we go, 20 seconds. Still feel it, right? I love it. People think they gotta jump to feel this, you don't. Three, two, one. Rest, okay, good job. Two more. This is our Tabata, we'll have a little rest here. Regroup, get back to our next set. Here we go, up, down. Starting after, these are replacing 
our uh, dumbbell squats, okay? So we can move quick and get as many in as we can. Little air squats up onto the toes if you want. You don't even have to do that. Good. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, one more. Woo. Here we go. Three, two, and one. You've got this. 20 seconds. I didn't ask you, but anytime we do a Tabata, it's always fun to count your, your exercises and see how many you get. See if you can hit that same number each time or do better. Because we get tired. By the fourth one, we're tired. Three, two, one. Rest, all right. Woo, all right, 30 seconds here. With our 10 seconds from our Tabata. You're, you're welcome, about 40 seconds. <laughs> now our 30 seconds is starting. Grab a quick sip. Woo, starting to feel this, okay. Now we're moving on. We just got through our dumbbell squats, which we did without weight very quickly for our Tabata. We're going back to crunch, uh, to weighted sit-ups, okay? Or crunches, actually. We're not gonna go all the way into the sit-up. If you want to, you can. Eight seconds here. We have our burpee walkouts. We're just still feeding through these five exercises, just looping through. All right, here we go. So we, the first time we did our crunch, we did these with um, out weight and quickly because we had 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We had that built-in rest. So we worked a little faster without weight. Here, we're gonna go a little slower. I added a 10 pound weight. You could do eights, fives, no weight at all. You do, you modify. Find your challenge here. And again, I'm doing a bit of a full crunch. I'm trying not to come up all the way out of my tailbone into a full sit up. If you want to, you can. I'm making it more of a full, getting in a few more. Really lifting the shoulder blades up off the floor, okay? You're doing great. There we go. Five seconds here. Three, two, one. All right. Oops, we're not done though, Tatum. <laughs> what was that, two? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, we did a minute. Oh boy, I'm losing it. Here we go. Walk out burpees. Here we go. Hands down, walk it out, out, in, in. Reach, I almost forgot that last time. I'm gonna alternate my lead foot if I can remember up, down. That right foot's always gonna be like, me, me, me. I'm gonna make that left foot do something here today. It needs to take some responsibility as well. Oh, it decided to go again. That's a change. Here we go. Right foot. Here we go. Just keep alternating. We always go with that dominant side. Here you go. Isn't this fun? There you go. And up. 18 seconds. Hoo Good. And we're going into those reverse lunges. And up. Good. Down, down. Good. And up, out, out, in, in, and reach. Yes, three, two, and one. Woo, reverse lunge. Heart rate's gonna spiral just a little because we went from that right into legs. So take a moment if you need to. We have 50 seconds on the clock. Here we go, reverse lunge. Weighted, if you're there. If you're there, don't let me push you into it yet. If we're just getting started. Play it out. See how it feels in two days. If you feel rather good and you have good range and control and stability, go for it. Start adding a little bit of weight at a time. Oh, you wanna be able to move as many days of the week as you can. So getting hurt isn't gonna serve that purpose. It's gonna put you behind. Also, small wins feel good and keep us going forward. So just jumping too hard sometimes gets a little frustrating. Or maybe we get a little too sore and we have to backtrack. That never feels good. Three, for some of us, it does. No, it just depends how long you've been doing this. Okay, so chest press would be next, but we're doing Tabata. So I don't want us to move that quickly with weight. We're gonna do push-ups. Here we go, hand release down and up. One, two, there you go. You can do these from your knees. If you do, make sure that the hips look where they are. They're in line with my head, okay? They're not here. All right, not up here. Okay, you got it. I'm gonna do release and up. Three, two, and one. Rest, now I didn't count on that one. Next time I want you to count, because I promise we'll slow down through these, we're gonna try to keep that same pace. Three, two, and one. Here we go, push through. 
All right, on these, in order to push from a fall from your toes, we've got to draw the belly button towards the spine. We need to squeeze the butt, the thighs. We have to become rigid and as stiff as we can, as stiff as a board. And then we're gonna push up and back, okay? Think about pushing up and back away from the floor. Back down, rest. Woo! All right, I hope you caught all that coaching there. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, and one. We got it, we got it. Keep moving, come on. Woo, I know, you're feeling it. And you're tired, and you wanna slow. My muscles are already slowing now. I'm like, whatever. Lady, whatever. <laughs> Just speak again. Talk back to that voice. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. I'm getting crazy here. One more. One more. Three, two, and one. Let's do it. Come on. One, two, come on. Three, four. Count to yourself. Come on. Five, six. No, squeeze. Seven. These get me every time. Eight. I'm gonna get two more, I don't care. Nine, three, two, and one. All right. 10. Whew. All right, 30 seconds here, almost 40. Boy, this shirt is a kind of collector. All right. 30 seconds now on the clock. Grab a sip of water. We have two more Tabatas to get through before we're done. So eight exercises total. We just did our chest press. Our dumbbell squats follow our chest press. So that'll be our first exercise. We'll go into sit-ups, burpee walkouts. Then we're gonna hit kettlebell swings instead of our reverse lunge. So something, actually skier swings that we can pop forward quick. All right, dumbbell squat. I'm taking weight on this one. Feel free to do body weight. Add a chair behind you. If sitting back feels a little scary, I don't want you leaning forward. Falling forward, keep the chest up. That's it, good. I'm still moving in a quick pace. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. I'm gonna slow the lowering phase, that eccentric phase, and then pop it to the top and come back down in it. Good, that's it. Control, feel the difference. For one, you might be able to control where your knees go, where your knees track. I don't know if mine are tracking right. Sometimes I watch a video and I'm like, ooh, I need to practice, I need to work on that. <laughs> Oh, it just depends on my day, how tired I am, what I've done. Here you go. Down and up, you got this. Three, two, and one. Great job. All right, sit-ups, or crunches, I should say. I don't want you going for a full sit-up unless you really want to. All right, here we go. But do bring the shoulder blades all the way up. Get a pretty good full crunch here. So it's not all the way up onto the tailbone, but we're getting close to that, okay? You might start to feel your tailbone as you crunch up and then roll back down. Control. Woo, good. This is a minute. So we're just working through this steadily. Nice job. Contract, don't just go through the motion or just think about that weight, all right? You can press in a little bit. That'll help you kind of brace your core. Many times we push, we have the weights out in front that helps. And then draw the belly button towards the floor. Don't forget, try not to shove it out. Three, two, and one. Great job, burpees, walking it in and out. Now again, actually this is in 50 seconds. I don't know, anybody wants to do 50 seconds? A whole burpees, but you can. Full on jump, here we go. And we're down, walking it back. Walking in, reaching high towards the sky. Left leg leads, in, out, and in. Good, right leg out, in, reach high, good. Move as quickly as you can with good form, okay? See how many you can get in during this time. Try to move quickly, but with control. And remember, you can always incline just a bit. Even if you have stairs at your house, just coming up to the first or second stair, can kind of help you if you have trouble getting those legs underneath you, okay, and back in and up, that's fine. No worries, find something to elevate your hands just a bit so that you can get there, out and in. Three, two, and one. All right, Tabata's up. Reverse lunge, it's kind of slow, okay? We are gonna use weight. We're gonna go skiers and pop the weight, okay? 
Here we go, 20 seconds. Push the hips back in the weight. Start with like three to five pounds or just your arms getting this movement before you add any weight. I have 20s here, but honestly, I would suggest eights, tens, something pretty light getting the movement. Even fives if you just have never done this before. So it's like a kettlebell swing here. Pushing the hips back, popping it towards the chest, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go. Little skiers. Let me stand to the side so maybe you can see my form a little bit. Flat back, no reaching, no rounding, no tucking of the pelvis. That's it, ski. Whoosh. You can say swish. Three, two, and one. All right, good job. Two more this way, be careful. Use lighter weight. The idea here is to engage the core muscles, including the glutes and the abs. So we need to be able to draw in and brace here very well. If it's too heavy, we may not be thinking about those things. Five seconds. Woo, three, two, and one. Good job, rest. One more, if you're feeling lower back pain, stop. All right, just swing without weight. Here, get form, squeeze glutes. Here we go. Woo. Last one. We have just four exercises to go and we're through this workout. Wow, it went quick. Woo. Eight seconds, come on, squeeze. I feel my left bottom working, my right not. And time. Nice work, rest. Okay, 30 seconds going on the clock in three seconds. <laughs> Here we go. A little sip of water. Okay, so coming up, chest press. After our uh, reverse lunges, we had chest press again. You'll have to look at my notes. It sounds confusing when you can't see it on the board or on the screen. Um, just n trust me. <laughs> Although I went back and I looked at Candy Crusher 9 and I had made a mistake in my typing. Uh-oh, time to go, chest press. Grab your weight. You can tell I just wanna to talk today instead of work. Here we go. Press it out. Oops, let's go wide again. Let's stick with what we've done. Palms in nice and wide. That's it. Squeeze in and up, there you go. That's it, push and squeeze. Oh, nice work. This is a 50 second one. Now, through any of my workouts, any of your workouts there, sometimes we just do, we pick up a weight and we just stick with it because it's what we picked and we got through it. But let me ask you this. Did you feel challenged at the end of 50 seconds? Did you get to the 50 second mark and think, oh, I could have done 10, 15, 20 more seconds of work? Then let's see if you have the weight there, you need to pick up and try a little bit heavier next time, okay? Start asking yourself these questions. Three, two, and one. All right, we can't stick with the same thing and not challenge ourselves. All right, squats are back with the dumbbells, okay? Three, two, and one. So you know, have you realized what exercise we will end on today with our Tabata? <laughs> if you train with me, you know I love to end with some burpees, some good old burpees. So that'll be our last Tabata. Let's walk 10 seconds of rest instead of 50 seconds in a row. That might be a plus for some of us. There we go. Squat it out. Keep those knees over the second, third toe. Call me out. Let me know if you see me doing something crazy here. Woo, that's it. That's it. Control it. Feels so good. Three, two, and one, lovely. Sorry, I didn't really say much through that. I got in the zone. All right, we're coming down the floor, crunches, with or without weight. Give it a full one. So not just a little crunch here, back down, let's see. Let's pull it through. Almost all the way up, but not quite. No pressure on the tailbone, just kind of getting to the tailbone. If you're there, if not, don't worry about it. Do the best you can. Just draw in, okay? Really think about what you're doing here. Blow the air out. Contract the abs. Draw in and up. Good, 23 seconds to go here. We hit our Tabata. 
we're out of here other than a little cool down. Stay with me for the cool down, 15 seconds. If you are not in a habit of stretching regularly, and I know some of us are out there, including myself at times, if I'm in a hurry, I sometimes just choose that workout over the stretch, but in a, in a shower, in that time crunch. All right, burpees. We're, we're, oh, yeah, this reminds me, we're not gonna step it out. Not enough time to get a lot in. I want you to touch down, reach, touch. I'm pushing my hips back towards that wall, and touch, reach. Touch, reach, okay? So instead of squat down, I do want you to push the hips back like we do when we step out. We're just gonna avoid that. Reach and touch right now, getting that heart rate up as if we are moving quickly through a burpee rest. 10 seconds, three more, okay? So I chose this. If we walk it in and out, we're not gonna get very much in in this 20 seconds. Three, two, and one, here we go. I call this the Pat Modified Burpee. Have a wonderful, client that when we would do burpees, she's a bit older, would just choose to touch and reach. Became the Pat Burpee. <laughs> Shout out to Pat. Three, two, one, rest. All right, two more, two more. Ah, oh, feels good, this is good. If you're looking for higher intensity, go to Candy Crusher, date number nine. I'll have a link in my description below. Maybe we could show up at the end of this video if I can remember to tell my husband to add it in for us. And you can go there and see it. Three, two, one. Rest. One more. Let's see how many we could get in. You're doing awesome. This is it today. Woo. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Touch, reach. Touch, reach. Woo. Woo. Come on. See how many get good form though. We have to brace tightly through our abs, through our core muscles here, drawing in and up to be safe. So tighten up. You'll be able to move a little quicker and you'll definitely be safer. Three, two, and one. Oh, that's it. That's a shame. I could have gone a little longer, huh? How about you? No, it was good. It's very good. Mountain time. It's about all the time I have today, actually. All right, cool down coming up. Not real long, about three minutes. So let's breathe a little bit here. Get to let the heart rate reset a little. Let's go forward in through our nose. Filling the belly and the chest. Exhale out to the side. Drawing the navel in and up. Feeling that tightness, okay? That drawing in, a little bit of bracing here, just crinkling effect of the core. And it's kind of what we're striving to do when we work out so we're good and sturdy and tight. Good, one more. Although I like the number five instead of three <sighs> because our cool down is short today. We'll take the number three. All right, let's go ahead and bring after those push-ups at chest press our arm across our chest just for a few seconds here, breathing. Again, I wanna say if my warm-ups, warm cool downs are not enough, take time, please, it's important. Um, I try to give you the workout, you know, um, I, do, I have a few stretching things online, not a lot. I'll try to come up with some more. I mostly want to come up with good warm up um, segments for you to do um, if you're needing it. So I'll do these little shorts for you coming up probably next month or so. I'm trying to sprinkle those in. I'm excited about those. Um, here we go. Reach behind, interlace the finger. I know I keep talking about different things like that. Let me know what your thoughts are. Oh, I'm losing my, my mic. Um, keep stretching that chest. Let me know what you think. Like, uh, do you want some more stretching things? Do you already use a different person for your stretches or yoga or whatever you like to do? Um, here we go. Do you want to see longer and uh, warm ups and cool downs that I could do separately that you could just click on? Um, goodness, you know, we're almost at 1K. I'm really starting to feel I really want to make it something great and something for you um, that you can utilize and come to and feel like you get everything you need. So let me know, let me know. Let's go ahead and do a quad stretch, grab that ankle, pull back. The knee should be touching, okay? So I shouldn't be out here. My balance, not great today. Pull it in, knees together. Hold it there, you can hold on to the wall. Stretch it out. If that bothers you, lay down on your side and do this, okay? easier to get to that ankle. Here we go, other side, standing tall, 
squeeze in. Good job. Let's go ahead and stretch the calves. We don't do that enough. Actually, let's go into downward dog in this one. Last one, we only have 18 seconds. Push back into the shoulders, in the back here, heels down, walk it out. One at a time, I like to push into my toes when I walk out on the heels that are up, then get the other foot down flat as you can, back and forth. Oh yeah, that feels good. Come on, a couple more. Timer is complete, so I hear it is done. Just gonna do a couple more through the calves. One more here. Good, gently walk it in and up. Give me a couple shoulder rolls back. And forward, we'll call it time. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll go check out my Candy Crusher day number nine with a high intensity anaerobic workout, all Tabata. All right, this is just another kind of mix up on it with weight and lower key, lower impact. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much. Please tell a friend uh, to tell a friend about us. All right, this is helping us grow and continue to bring these workouts to you. Thank you again. See you next time. Bye-bye.